Peace, everyone. Welcome to Fasting is Life. And I'm here as your host to bring you yet another amazing information, news, and comedy. Uh, this moment, uh, this news that I'm reporting, it's from the University of Colorado border, uh, Boulder, Boulder, like B O U L D E R, Boulder. It says health officials ban gatherings for 18 to 22 years old. So I'm reading an article from denver.sbclocals.com. Uh, basically, <clears throat> uh, it's all about the pandemic. So bear with me. I know it's uh, it's the same old song. Uh, it kind of sucks. Uh, remember, uh, me and uh, DJ Kuda, we've been talking about since this pandemic began that uh school everything is going to be online uh i remember back in the day people used to make fun of uh, U uh university of phoenix they was online people like, oh good. getting uh, taking a, a degree uh, online that's that's trash that, it has no value blah 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 look at us now almost what 10 years later everything is going to be online and you know there are questions out there well if we won't have to be in a build in, in a university building. Why our the tuition is gonna be still high? Because check this out, guys. You can get your degree from YouTube, and YouTube is free. You wanna learn trigonometry? YouTube. You wanna learn a new language? YouTube. And guess what? Free of charge. Free of charge. You can learn what you're learning in school online for free. But if you want to get that certification, that's when you have to cover some money, right? So let's see. Sucks for the young people. Hey, you can enjoy the college life in your generation thanks to uh, the hoaxy hoax pandemic. <laughs> All right, let me read the article. It says, new positive cases of COVID-19 hoax uh, are still steadily rising in Boulder and have been for three weeks. Number three, coding. There you go. There have been 1,391 positive COVID-19 cases recorded on the University of Colorado campus. On Thursday, Boulder County Public Health issued a new public health order ordering people between 18 and 22 to stop all gatherings in Boulder. It's aimed at the CU student body and intended to lower the transmission rate of the COVID-19 virus. The order takes effect at 4 p.m. Uh, and is in effect for 14 days. Uh, when it comes to... Uh, if the virus is quote-unquote airborne, whether you stop it together or not, it's going to fly. People will be walking where the people were standing. <laughs> Never mind. Who am I? Uh, this sucks. It says, uh, per order, anyone between 18 and 22 will not be allowed to participate in gatherings of any size, indoor or outdoor, on or off the University of Colorado campus, or with individuals of any age. Anyone living at any of the 36 addresses listed in the order must stay inside a residence at all times. Wow, three, six, 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 six. <laughs> Man, there's so many codings. Only those who are wise will understand. Uh, those residents have repeatedly engaged in activities that violate standing public health orders. Yeah, because they're Americans. And Americans have freedom, right? Those in the age group who live with other members of a household will not be bare from interacting with those members. Outdoor exercise, study, and traveling to and from work is still allowed for those who do not live at any of the 36 listed residents. We under let me see. We understand that restricting gathering of young adults can have negative effects on their mental health. Jeff Zayak, Boulder County Public Health Executive Director, said in a prepared statement. 
We urge family and friends to support the young adults in their life during this time by being available for them and helping them access mental health resources if needed. The more diligently this order is followed, the sooner we'll be able to lift it. The order prohibits residents of the identified properties from here are the orders. Let me, it's a list of them. Dining outside of the residence, whether at a business or another residence, using any mode of public uh, transportation or ride share, bus, plane, taxi, train, Uber, blah, blah, blah. Allowing anyone who, do not, who does not live at the property to enter unless they are an essential visitor. <laughs> Example service provider. Oh, so so if you're not if you are quote unquote non-essential, you are not allowed to come to my house. Hmm. Leaving the property to move to another location unless specific requirements are met. Congregating in any common area at the residence, meaning you can have a church, you can have a, a little party with your buddies. You know, they're young kids, they want to party, they want to have a good time, you know. Relax a little bit so they'll stop stressing from school work, you know. Participating in any form of outdoor activity exercise with another person. No smooching, you know. No more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Couples, uh, I feel sorry for y'all. Y'all will still have to sneak somewhere. Uh, traveling further than walking distance of their residence when outdoors for exercise or work, with the exception of for financial hardship. I mean, if you're broke and you're struggling or you're homeless, <laughs> man, these people are very good with their words, man. Those ordered to stay at home can only leave for medical care, obtaining necessary supplies through contactless means, delivery, basically, and any outdoor activity that can be done alone and while respecting the six feet coding social distancing guidelines. With this firm restriction on gatherings for all 18 to 22-year-old in Boulder, we felt we are focusing on the virtual event that we can create for students and any other support that they may need while they experience college life in such an altered way. See you, Chancellor Phil Di Stefano, Di Stefano said. There you have it, guys. Hey. You think this is, you know, this will stop? This will never stop. And winter is coming. Imagine winter. Look, they shut down the country when it was summertime. Imagine winter. You, 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 are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for this? Like, are you ready? Look at the students, you know, all wearing masks. The masks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Six feet apart, like so. You mean to tell me the virus just lingers? Some okay, you six feet apart, right? Well, if you move to the spot where the person was standing, doesn't shouldn't you? Aren't you meeting if he has a virus? Aren't you meeting his virus, and therefore you catch it? Huh? <laughs> Uh, protect our herd. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Uh, that's all the news for now. I'll bring you more news uh, related to this topic. Man, guys, I tell you, being a content creator, man, I tell you, I love doing this. It's fun for me, but here's the thing. It's time consuming because, man, there's so many articles that I just, you know, put on tabs that to, to to bring it to you guys like a lot of crazy ones like that that to me based on you know the frame of my channel that i think you guys should hear the stuff that i talk about you know i've had a bunch of live streams you know a lot of people thought i'm, I'm a little crazy so what i'm doing is hey i'm giving you all the mainstream stuff the things that i've been saying and been predicting and using mainstream news how they were reporting things and giving it to you verbatim to show you that i was right and i'm just putting in your face hey i told you weeks ago months ago i've been telling people i'm like hey they're gonna shut their country again and 
don't be surprised if the election is canceled. So ah, sucks for the student out there who uh, in 2020, you have you are having a rough start. You know, you're not experiencing college like we did, you know. So shout out to the students hanging there. Uh, if if you can afford it, get out of college while you can find some other means or go to a community college. Most of community college now are doing things online anyway. So if you can find a school that's doing everything online, the better. That way you can be at your home in your freedom and not being restricted living in, on campus with all this bull crap stuff, you know. So thanks again, guys. Stay tuned for more content. I'll see you on the next one. Wear your mask. Stay home. Shut up. <laughs>